Hello, Otaku Fujoshi and Anime Curious. My name is Random Sama 613 and this is Anime Opinions. This is week two of my Anime First Impressions. This week I'm covering Log Horizon and Gundam Build Fighters. Firstly, a note about Gundam Build Fighters. The only way to watch it is on the YouTube channel. I will link it below. It is not, it's not licensed on Crunchyroll or the Funimation site, so I had a heck of a time finding it. Uh, many thanks to Dr. Daza for finding it for me. I really appreciate it. And as I said, I owe you a drink. So I'm just going to go straight into this. Uh, first thing on the list for this week is Log Horizon, which is animated by State Light, a studio I had never heard of before. So the general premise of Log Horizon is that of Dot Hack and Sword Art Online. A group of people have been trapped inside of a video game. So not a real original one, and in my opinion, not a very well executed one so far. The animation isn't very good. I think that it looks kind of blah and flat, which is in direct contrast with the other two anime I've been watching this season. And it just, it really threw me off because I was expecting such great animation. Although, I, since, like I said, I've never heard of Sate Light, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, the opening is mediocre, the ending is a little bit better. Again, this is falling in line with all of the stuff that I've already mentioned about how the animation's kind of blah. The main character is a strategist, his name is Shiro. He's really good at strategizing. As far as I can tell, he's a mage class in this particular case. Uh, they do a little bit of explanation on it. Not a ton. They kind of go into what the world is. One of my primary complaints about Log Horizon is that they treat it more like an MMO, like you're actually just watching someone play an MMO. Which, with Sword Art Online and Dot Hack, I didn't get that as much, but I still got elements of it, which I liked. So I think that they're getting a little heavy-handed with it. I'm hoping that it lightens up and gets a little more Sword Art or Dot Hack, which I love both of them. So I'm really hoping that that kind of evens itself out. Uh, the only real difference on how these people got trapped in the virtual world is that it was after a patch. So the game had already existed. It was already an existing user base as opposed to with Sword Art where it was a beta test basically or it was the first it was the launch of a game. Or with Dot Hack where it's an isolated incident it's only Tsukasa who gets trapped. So I'm gonna give this another episode or two. I have a feeling I'm probably gonna drop it unless it really picks up. But I'll give it the, the three episode rule. The next anime up on this list that I've been watching is Gundam Build Fighters, which is done by Sunrise. It follows Sei, whose parents own a Gunpla model store. Gunpla are Gundam models. I actually own a couple of them, so this is kind of an amusing premise to me. Uh, the Gunplas fight in, the, in a virtual kind of arena rink kind of deal. And Sei's father is a champion Gunpla battler. So he's trying to live up to that legacy. And the other main character who comes in is Reiji, who we know absolutely nothing about, except that he's an excellent gunplay pilot, which we find out near the end of the episode. Sam wants to get better at battling. He's an excellent model creator. He's really good at making the models, making them look pretty, making them look well built. But he's not very good at the actual control in this suit, as is demonstrated by the first battle he has with his rival, who completely trashes him. Beyond that, I think it, it feels like a Gundam, but not a Gundam. So I think this is kind of Sunrise playing it safe a little bit. They're not going with a new Gundam series, which I understand because I believe Unicorn is still ongoing. I'm hoping it picks up because it was it still it has a good premise and has a good idea. But I don't necessarily know that it's going to follow through well. So that's the, uh, that's the next two I've been watching. Uh, next week will be the last two of my six. So what did you guys think? Have you watched either of those? If you think I'm wrong on either of them, or if you have an opinion either way, comments down below, please. I really do appreciate interaction with people. But I'm RandomSama613, this has been Anime Opinions, and until next time, watch more anime.